St. Amant to the inside of Brad Loney. Boy, Loney strong on that outside. Ooh, he pinched it down a little bit going into the Oh, man. Big incident. Cindy Peterson, on Bob Seneker, Scott Hansen, John Cadman as well. The 70 car sitting sideways. A huge impact on the backstretch coming just off a of turn two. We see Tony Raines involved as well. So the, the front runners getting together. There's Cindy getting out of her car. She's we heard the pop up here, guys. Away. Yeah, it was a big hit. Big hit. She's up against a wall, but it looks okay. There is the 70 car of Cadman. He lowers the net. He's all right. Scott Hansen is out of the car. He's walking over to where Cindy is at. That's tough for Scott. He ran so good all night long. Well, you hate that for him. He was having a great night. He's gonna check on Cindy and see if she's okay. I think Cindy hit the wall really hard there. And sometimes when you, you're, you're, you've got your foot, especially a left foot, you have it on the brake pedal and it just takes, absorbs the whole crash and it, it gives you a little sprain. So that's probably what's happened to her. She didn't look very, like she was hurting too bad. True gentleman, Scott Hanson, making sure everybody's okay. Bob Seneker's out and he's okay. Looks like one of our pit reporters is standing by. Some tough luck here for you tonight. What happened out there? Uh, there was a car spun uh, coming off the second turn. I did everything I did to avoid him, but I, I couldn't miss him. Just coming too fast. Coming too fast. You and Hanson back and forth. You're just going at it there for a while. That was Mike Getty. That was Mike Getty. Well, you were up there in the hunt there for a while. How was the car handling at that point? Well, it was getting better and better, but this stuff happens. Just that's it from Bob Seneker. That stuff happens. Dave Burns has already caught up with Scott Hansen. Well, Dave. Scott and I are standing down here uh, at the scene of the accident. Scott, what happened? I really don't know. I mean, I come up out of two wide open. You know, I've been having handling problems with the brakes, and nobody said nothing. I just run right flat out into it. I tried turning left, so I wouldn't T-bone her, you know, and hit her broadside. And I just, I had no clue she was there. You walked right over. She looks OK to you from uh, yeah, right she's, now? She's, She's feeling bad because she was there, you know, and created the wreck, but I don't know what started it, but uh, I just had no clue she was there. Well, Scott, you've won here before in a different division. Uh, how good was your car tonight? Did you feel like you could get back into it and move back ahead? No, nah, I ran out of brakes uh, halfway through the race. I ran out of front brakes, and that's what happened here at the end. And I just, the car was so loose getting in, I was sliding rear tires. And I just wanted to try and keep up. You know, I knew I couldn't race some guys. And, you know, I come out of the corner and there she was. I just, like I said, I just turned it left and, you know, we, we ended up broadside instead of T-bone because uh, who knows what would happen. Scott, do you have anything to take with you to Columbus in two months from now from uh, your experience this weekend? I don't have anything to take home from this weekend. <laughs> They're both wrecked really bad. We're just going to go home and start over. We saw Cindy Peterson being helped to the ambulance by her car owner, Tom Nickerson. Or Mark well, Scott Carter, gave a pretty good description of what took place, but Keep your eyes on this. Watch the 53. All of a sudden, you're going to see Cindy sitting right here. Bob Seneker gets the first piece of Cindy, a huge impact. He nearly goes over. This is the same car Seneker had in Jennerstown at the season finale, so this car has seen a lot. It's like a Joey Chitwood thrill show, the way he rode that thing on two wheels. Well, oh, boy, watch this. Precarious is an understatement. Look at Mike Eddy. Did you see Mike Eddy just miss her? Boy, that car had a lot of bite, and he was able to turn just enough or he would have been the first one to enter well you know what was good about mike eddie's position is he could see cindy sitting there yeah he had where, that extra half a right, second right where where uh, uh scott and bob were both behind mike and each other and they just had no right you know as soon as mike moved there she was no chance to miss well the good news is everybody is okay a really really hard hit here at the season opener for the ASA. stay with us we still got more race to go Well, there's the mess side on the back stretch as we clean things up here. The season opener for the ASA series. This year, we're starting things off here in Lakeland, Florida. But you know, actually, in 1973, 74, and 75, the ASA series opened up the previous year in the fall. Salem Speedway. Look at some of the damage that's 
uh, thrown all over this racetrack. These ASA cars, Butch, can really take a shot. They really can. And what's nice about them is they're fairly rebuildable. I think uh, Rex Robbins and ASA has put together a great series here because uh, you know, that car can run next week. Yeah, or if for they... example, you, you've built a lot of cars. Looking at Cindy's Peter, Cindy Peterson's car there, I look at it and go, you know, get me a new one. What do you, that looks fixable, huh? That's absolutely fixable. Uh, you know, it's possible that, that uh, it looks like it's got some front frame damage, but they can put a clip on in a day, all the parts bolt onto that clip, and uh, the body is uh, virtually a one evening piece to put on there. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great race car that can be repaired easily. It's certainly not low cost to run, but, but things like that make it a lot lower. You, all by, the, well, go ahead. Uh, yeah. By the way, did you get a, a, a look at Bob Seneker's eyes when he got out? When they, when they were doing Bob's interview, that's the that's the Bob Seneker zombie look right there. They, his <laughs> eyes get all glassed over, and I know he's Mr. Nice Guy out of the race car. But when he gets behind that wheel and he starts that motor up, those eyes just glass over. They glass over. That's, that's it. Huh? That's it. There's a look Je at the Jekyll speaker. and Hyde. I think probably his eyes are unglassed by now. now. But we caught him right as he got out of the race car. I'm just wondering what goes through your mind and what do you think of first when you finally land as he did and go, what was that? I don't know. You, you know, you try and drive for a while, but uh, uh, oh, here, look at the replay. Cindy, Cindy Peterson. Peterson dead in the water and all of a sudden. Oh, man. Bob Seneca running in second position, getting up sideways there. Launching off Cindy Peterson Chevrolet. Hanson also involved. He had said he had nowhere to go. Mike Eddy, look at that. All the way down to the bottom. Now, showing, Butch, when you showing reactions of a 15-year-old. And a tip of the hat to all the guys behind them because as they came oh, through yeah. there, there were pieces all over that racetrack and everybody else missed the remaining of the spinning cars. He, he was pumping his leg there. I wonder if he's not having a brake problem. Hanson down there, he wants to take a look at the replay again. There's Mike. Now he's not pumping anymore, but I saw his left leg moving up and down. I think he's a two-footed uh, racer, and I wonder